There's no doubt why I am here I have come to know what my answers show as Nigerians grapple with the challenging times thrown up by the recession that has almost shut down economic activities in almost every sector of the economy, it is indeed a time in the land that calls for reflection to do a thorough introspection into where we got things wrong to regain focus and set a completely new template upon which to begin afresh. The Time Out Forum, envisioned by Mrs. Tokumbo Giwa Amu Ni Akogun, Daughter of the former leader of the Federal House of Representatives, Sir Honorable Tunde Akogun, which brought together some of the most accomplished female professionals and entrepreneurs to share their success stories, from which a lot of useful lessons could be learned by upcoming business owners, is indeed a most strategic step to take, as we all re-strategize, refocus and draw strength from ourselves in moving forward. The very impressive profile of those who spoke at the Time Out event, which took place in Lagos on Monday, 3rd October 2016, and the different all-encompassing topics they separately extensively focused on, shows that there was a deliberate effort by the organizers to see that at the end of the exercise, many people in the audience would have been motivated and encouraged enough to use their creative God-given talents productively. The welcome remark was given by the convener of the Time Out Forum, Mrs. Tokumbo Giwa Amu, an economics graduate from the University of Ibada, a time-tested entrepreneur with varied experience, especially in marketing, in both the public and private sectors. She advised all to be strong, think positively and be true to themselves. Tokumbo Giwa Amu says, although it's a very tough environment, this can also be a time of lifting and awakening. Truth is that we should be flexible. Move. Let your mind move. Let it be free. So we need to just relax at this point in time. Let your mind be open to what everybody is going to say. You just never know which one you'll pick from. And then have the courage to step in. Have the courage to fight it. You know, have the courage to, to continue you know, and um, build it. Whatever it is, whoever it is, wherever it's coming from, it's you, what you believe in in yourself. So it's time to say, you know what? What's going on in here? How can I do this? I need to do this and build it. It doesn't have to be anything fantastic. There's nothing lost. Just try it. Just push yourself. Just move. Move every time. That's what it's all about. Time out. Take that time. Reflect. How far so far where to. That's what it's all about. The first speaker, Mrs. Ajibola Bonley, is a principal director and coach, an accomplished and result-oriented consultant organizational psychologist with demonstrated competence in partnering with businesses to design and implant solutions that enhance organizational capacity through individual and team development. She has a bachelor's degree in economics from the University of Ibada, an MSc in organizational psychology from the University of London with a background as a chartered accountant and chartered tax practitioner. She sees the vision of Time Out as a compelling one. She pushes strongly for women to stand up to find and achieve their purpose in life with their inherent potential. Make your, 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 your dream as big as possible. If it's moi moi you are selling, we know the story of the woman that sold moi moi and got to White House or wherever. She sold the best moi moi that she could and that moi moi made a way for her. What is it that we are doing, that we are committing, that whatever you do, if you're selling hair, sell the best hair possible. If you're doing clothing, know about your craft and make the best clothing line that you can. But we just do follow, follow, copy, copy, just do, just, you know, be the best, have a legacy of the best. Overcome every obstacle, I have said it before. Then make no excuses. It says here 99% of failures come from people who have the habit of making excuses. We excuse everything. Uh, it, 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 my husband is the one that didn't allow me to do it, you know. It's because I have my children, I'm going, too many excuses. Stop. The excuse and take ownership 
of where it is and what it is that you want to do? What is it that you want them to say about you? What legacy do you want to have left behind? A few of the things that I've said, it's aroused your, your thoughts about how to unlock your potential. Thank you very much for having me. The theme of her lecture was Unlocking Your Potentials. Important tips about wellness and healthy living took center stage with Dr. Eno, Angela Atta's intervention titled Jumpstart Your Health, Living Your Healthiest Life, Wellness Talk. Dr. Angela Atta, the MD and CEO of Health Bridging Trust Limited, is a preventive medicine and public health practitioner with expertise in the provision of quality health care with profound and landmark achievement in both public and private health sectors. She was instrumental in the setting up of a vibrant business platform for nutrition. In 2016, Angela began Health Bridge Trust Initiative, a non-profit organization with a focus on addressing the issues of poor and limited access to primary health care in rural communities while targeting malnutrition, particularly among women, children and young adults through advocacy and health education. Dr. Angela Atta sees the Time Out Forum as an opportunity to network with other women going through life issues and triumph. She admonished her fellow mates to endeavor to put in their very best to discover their potential in unearthing the very best of their lives. You're eating for a purpose. You're eating to live. If you're an athlete, you're eating to be able to perform at your optimum. If you're a housewife, you have to think about what you need to eat to make sure that you have um, the energy, the ability to go about your day. And then if you've noticed on building sites in Lagos, for instance, you have laborers, right? And most of them are quite fit, have you noticed? <laughs> because they, there's so much output there, like climbing up, carrying all sorts of big things. I cannot afford to eat like a laborer. I can't. They need lots of um, energy-giving foods, lots of... Um, carbohydrates, and then, of course, the protein to back it up. So when you see them sitting down to eat and they have to eat so much, it's because they're using it. What am I trying to remind you of? Eat for what you're doing. <laughs> eat for the activity in your life. So it doesn't make any sense for you to say, oh, I just enjoy food. A lot of us might fall into that trap. Oh, I love to eat, and I'm just going to eat. I'm not saying don't eat, you know, food, but eat it with what you're going to do, your activity in mind. Perhaps the most anticipated topic was the one with the theme, financial freedom, becoming financially free, personal finance and investment, given our present very hard economic times. Mrs. Ononuji Ruku gave the topic her very best shot from the hindsight of rich experience in investment and finance. Mrs. Ononuji Ruku is the MD Chapel Hill Denham Managers Limited, a leading investment management company in Lagos. She has over two decades of experience in personal banking and wealth management. As part of a commitment to encourage an investment culture, she writes a regular column on personal wealth where she shares tips on investment and planning with a bias for issues women face when considering financial matters. A member of the Institute of Directors, she is a graduate of the University of Benin with an MBA from the University of Ife. Money reveals your character. It tells us who you are, if you are stingy or you're generous. That's why the money shows up everywhere. It's, it, it, I mean, it's so subtle, but it speaks volumes. Okay? Beyond just the, the ability to get money, you must also acquire the tools and the skills to make sure that money works for you. But listen to this. Because women earn, earn less than men, it means that retirement is based on what? Your life earnings. So it means at the end of the day, you have less of a retirement package if you have been saving properly than your colleague who is a guy. Mrs. Yetunde Bankole Bernard treated the topic, what is holding you back? Here, she put at the disposal of the audience her rich experience as the identity coach with a very high pedestal as an employee with Africa's leading brand activation agency. Mrs. Yetunde Bankole Bernard has managed several blue chip companies such as the British American Tobacco Company, BAT, Unilever, Nigeria Breweries, MTN, and Nokia. 
She is a UK certified life coach, relationship image coach and corporate image consultant trained in New York and Las Vegas. Mrs. Yetunde Bankole Bennett says women should focus on themselves, discover access to uncommon limitations, make adjustments and gain clarity for new beginnings. What is holding you back is what you know now, what you're uncomfortable about, what you need to shed for your tomorrow. For myself, I will say that even while I was searching and being oh, PR, marketing communications, oh, look good, feel good, talk good before you can be accepted, I realized that there was something deeper and it is finding who you are, accepting yourself, first of all, for who you are before other people can accept you. Accepting yourself, forgiving yourself, moving through your situations, yourself, dealing with it, saying, okay, this is making me uncomfortable. Let me, accepting yourself for who you are so that other people can know who you are. And the thing is being vulnerable. A lot of us are always scared of, ah, if I do this now, they will now know that this is how I really feel and they will take advantage of me. Let go, open up and blow some. And that's what the world needs. The world today does not need another Michael Jackson. Another, they need you for who you are. See, your identity, who you are, is the most important thing. You need to find that by yourself. Find yourself so that other people, you are, you are the gift to your world. Your world will be grateful for it. Growing pains, struggles and triumphs was the topic the guest speaker, Mrs. Betsy Irabo, dealt with, using her life experience as a veritable benchmark to properly diagnose the topic. Betsy Irabo, wife of the famed broadcaster Sonny Irabo, and editor-in-chief, CEO of Genevieve magazine, emerged from humble beginnings as a daughter of a Nigerian police officer and a seamstress mother. She learned the value of hard work, strong conviction and drive very early in her life, thanks to her upbringing. A 1980 graduate of English and philosophy from the University of Lagos, Betty Irabo began her career in journalism, which was accidentally at the National Concord. Betty has a strong passion for writing. Through the Genevieve Pink Ball Foundation initiative by Betty Irabo in 2014, many patients who suffer from breast cancer were sponsored to undergo surgery, chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Betty Irabo's massive advocacy on breast cancer through the Genevieve Pink Ball Foundation donated a mammography machine valued at 9 million naira to the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital for early diagnosis of breast cancer before it goes to more malignant stages. The topic, Growing Pains, Struggles and Triumph, was properly diagnosed by Betty Irabo. Fear was a very, very uh, recurring factor in my life. I was afraid of failure. I was afraid of falling. But through Genevieve, I fell on my face many times and learned to get up. Watch a child who is learning to crawl or a child who is learning to walk. What do they do? They fall. They keep falling. But do they give up and decide, you know, walking is not for me? No. So be the best that you can be. Do not be defined by circumstances around you. You can be greater than you ever were. You can be greater than everybody you've admired. You can be them and beat them just by believing in what you can do for yourself. Starting Genevieve was one of the biggest risks I ever took. I didn't, know, I didn't have a template, but I was passionate about doing that. And I started. And the Lord began to show me the steps. Every time I took a step towards him, he took 99 steps towards me. So, I don't remember the growing pains. All I see is the woman I have become. The woman who learned from everything life threw at her. A woman who refused to get, to, a woman who refused to stay down. Starting ping ball was not something I planned. It came to me. I didn't go to it. 
But when I see the lives we've saved, I feel that we're living life in purpose. And God will continue to strengthen us. I, I came out of the hospital the other day and I met a lady and she'd, she was at stage 3 breast cancer. And she said, oh, what stage is yours? And I said, no stage. I don't have cancer. And she said, why are you doing this? And I said, I really don't know. But in life, we may not know the purpose for what, for which we are here. But it is our job to find that purpose. May God lead you towards finding your purpose. The question and answer session offered ample time to further expatiate in all the areas treated in the earlier lecture that needed to be further brushed up. The audience broke up into what is termed the accountability groups. Awards were given to those who have contributed to the success of the Time Out Forum organized by Tokumbo Giwa Amu with Time Out Soaring Eagles lifting hands. Tokumbo Giwa Amu reminded all, especially the women, to wake up to the new realities of the times. Tokumbo Giwa Amu says it's time to plan, focus, study, reach, communicate, build, invest and give so that we might all have a peaceful, fulfilled and restful time when the bones have become very weak to carry the entire body.